what is up everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll ch i'll cover the verbal section that came in the accenture exam which was held on 23rd august so yeah let's start the video uh, also before starting if you haven't checked my previous videos which i uh, uh, uploaded on corns a uh, logical reasoning and also coding questions that came in accenture uh so please go and check the videos also i'll share the link in the description box and yeah let's get started with the video so directions for questions 1 to 3 choose the option which will correctly fill the blank so this is basically the fill in the blanks things uh, okay the first question is i am writing to inquire dash the possibility of hiring a conference room at the hotel on the 2nd of september see uh, for this type of questions i suggest uh, you people that uh, uh, put all the given options in this blank and check whether uh, it is making sense or not this is the only way or the fastest way can say uh, to solve this type of questions in the exam so i am writing to inquire of the possibility no uh, i don't think it makes any sense though so this way this option will get eliminated now i am writing to inquire about the possibility of hiring about the possibility of hiring a conference room at the hotel yes this is making sense but let's check other options too i am writing to inquire into the possibility is uh, definitely a wrong option i am writing to inquire after the possibility no this is also uh, wrong so our option b that is about is the correct answer yeah question 2 uh, dash having her lunch she stood dash the tree and waited dash him okay now here uh, first of all check the first blank if it is making sense or not and then go for second and third blank okay uh, so with having her lunch no 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 it is not make any sense so uh, will not check even for uh, both uh, the remaining options okay uh, yeah after having her lunch after having her lunch see she stood yes it is making sense she stood under the tree and waited for him yes this is correct but let's check other options too inside having her lunch is not at all correct so this option will get eliminated about having is not at all correct so our option b is the correct answer question 3 the microscopic animals are the primary food for larval cod and uh, their decline has meant that fewer fish are making it to the adulthood to be caught dash trawler man okay so here uh, the correct option will be uh, by like adulthood to be caught by because caught in is not correct caught into again not correct caught with no 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 so our option c will be the correct answer that is by directions for question 4 to 6 okay choose the word nearest in the meaning to the word in italics from the given options so here you can see this word impervious is given in italics so we have to check the uh, from the given options that which is the most uh, nearest uh, nearest meaning which means synonym here so yeah the jacket is impervious to water uh, now uh, first of all impervious means i mean impervious means not oh not allowing not allowing fluid to pass through 
ओके इट मीन्स नॉट अलाउविंग फ्लूड टू पास थ्रू नाउ डी इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट नीट एंड क्लीन सो दिस इज नॉट वॉट वी वॉन्ट प्योर इज अगेन द अपोजिट ऑफ डर्टी एंड इम्पेनिट्रेबल मीन्स नॉट अलाउविंग और इट इज सनोनिम ऑफ इम्परवियस दैट इज नॉट अलाउविंग फ्लूड टू पास थ्रू दैट इज इट इज इम्पेनिट्रेबल या फेवरेबल इज टोटली अ डिफरेंट वर्ड सो आर ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन फाइव चंदन वॉज शैगरेंड विद द कंटिन्यूस डिसरप्शन ऑफ द पावर सप्लाई टू हिज होम ना वट डज दिस वर्ड मीन यू हैव टू चेक फर्स्ट वट डज इट मीन सो शैगरेंड मीन्स फील लाइक फील डिस्ट्रेस ओके feel distressed or annoyed okay so we got our uh, meaning of this word so we'll check uh, in the options that w- which of the following is uh, like is related to this well disrupted or annoyed so delighted is uh, something of uh, uh, like positive feeling positive so this is not the correct answer creation is again a very unrelated word now peeved peeved means uh, annoyed so peeved uh, can be our correct answer but uh, let's check the fourth option as well security is again again a very unrelated word so our option c that is peeved is the correct answer the latest ordinance issued by the government has provided the bank with two options now here ordinance means an author an authoritative an authoritative order which is equals to law or rule okay so decision is not a law or rule so this option will not be the correct one law yes law this is what i mean law is the correct answer again opinion is not um, a rule or a law and this also is not the correct answer so our option b law is the correct answer directions for question 7 to 10 choose the answer option which will correctly fill the blank dash great writer is convinced that whatever he says is not an echo or imitation of what others have said so here we have to put the articles here so uh, okay i'll uh, tell you first a an and the are three articles that are used so the general rules uh, used for a and or an with uh, is these are used with a singular count noun when you mean one of many one of many or any in general okay this was uh, for a uh, and an that means it is used when uh, there is a single count noun when you mean one or many or any uh, for example bob bob is a student we we uh, won't say bob is the student uh, like in one of many students one of many students okay so here we'll use a and is basically used uh, for the vowels and the the here uh, it is uh, if the noun uh, is having a, a specific meaning like if it is 
having a specific meaning. For example, uh, if we say Adam was the first man, the first man, it is only of one kind, one kind, here it was one or many or any, here it is only of one kind, okay, I hope that is clear, so we'll uh, see the answer of this dash the great writer it will the great writer because as i said a uh, and an will not be the correct answer here question eight dash reserve bank of india directed banks to closely watch dash spending through international debit cards so uh, so here the answer will be the reserve bank the Reserve Bank of India directed banks to closely watch the spending through international debit cards. Question 9. The officer received Dash official letter from Dash Ministry of IT in Dash Central Government. So here the correct answer would be uh, the officer received and because here it is O which is an uh, vowel received an official letter from from the ministry of IIT because there can be only one ministry uh, as I said in previous slide of IIT in the central government because there is only one central government okay so our uh, correct option will be B uh, and the the question 10 you cannot send out dash uneducated man into dash world of technology and expect him to perform see here it is you so uh, an will come here that is you cannot send out an uneducated man into there is only one world so here it will come the man into the world of technology and expect him to perform so our correct option will be c and and the okay directions for question 11 to 15 read the passage and answer the questions that follow on the basis of the information provided in the message the existence of mammals on the earth okay now um the, if i uh, like start reading this much paragraph so it will be very lengthy so i uh, i request you all to uh, pause the video and take the screenshot of these two slides of paragraphs like this one and this one and then answer the questions uh, like which are based on the paragraphs okay so the first question uh, from the paragraph is from the following choose the most appropriate title for the above passage if you read the above passage uh, like by pausing the video and taking screenshot or whatever uh, the correct answer will be adaptation and extension okay we'll move to the next question According to the passage, the chronological order of the geologic periods is the correct answer is Mesozoic, Paleocene, and so on. Question 13 From the above passage, we can infer that the pterosaur resembled the bat, was a Mesozoic. Mammal was a flying reptile, inhabited the seas, evolved during the Miocene period. Uh, so the correct answer is option C. What uh, was a flying reptile? Pterosaur was the flying reptile. Okay, so that's why I suggest you to like read the passage first and then answer. 
As inferred from the passage, the largest number of mammals were found in which of the following periods? The answer for this is option E, Miocene period. Okay. Question 15. Among the following statements, which statement, if true, would weaken the argument put forth in the first sentence of the paragraph? So, the correct answer is option A. It has been found that the trinosaur has had her had a larger brain than was previously known. So, yeah, this was all about the video and the questions that came in the exam. I, I'll upload few more questions uh, on Accenture as um, and also uh, I have uploaded few like not few but many questions on Capgemini and also TCS and QT. If you haven't watched my uh, videos, so please go and check the other videos too. And also if you like the video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Bye-bye.